Okay, so today I'm packing up my GH5 and I'm gonna put the 12 mil in the bag and the 42.5 from uh, Panasonic, so the Panasonic Leica lenses. And I'm gonna see how they look like. Right now I'm vlogging to you guys on the Lumix LX15 to see how that looks like, see how the autofocus is doing. I got it on auto exposure right now because I'm not gonna have time to manage both the cameras and do full manual. Um, so I'd rather do auto on this one and not the GH5. Um, so I'm gonna take my dogs with me, but funny enough, for some reason they think, think I'm not taking you with me, huh? I'm taking you with me. I'm not gonna leave you. So yeah, I'm just packing it up. Um, I'm gonna have to put some lab mics on so you guys can hear me when I'm doing the GH5 stuff. Um, got the lenses in there all nice and tidy. And uh, yeah, so hopefully the uh, test will be okay. Hopefully this is doing okay with the auto exposure. Um, and I'll check you guys, keep you updated in a second because I gotta pack everything in the car. So I'll see you in a sec. Okay, so I'm in the car now. I got the GH5 hooked up. I got my Sennheiser lav mic on. I'm using the 12 mil Lumix Leica lens. I'm at 1.4, I left it wide open to see how it does. I'm not doing autofocus on this, so I set the focus and hopefully I'm in focus. Um, I'm just on my way to get some gas and do some tests with these lenses. Um, I got the dogs with me today and I gotta get back to uh, meet a client later. Um, so I can't do a crazy test, but I just want to test this lens out and see how these do. Um, so as I mentioned, the 12 mils on here, and when I get there, I'll do a piece of the camera on the 42.5, then I'll do some uh, cutaway shots. Um, as you saw at the start of the video, I'm also using the LX15 to see how that does for super quick pickup vlog style shots um, to see how that does. So I'm just about to get on the freeway now, and um, I'll check you guys in a second. So yeah, I just got to the location. Got my bags with me. It's sprinkling a little bit, so hopefully it doesn't rain. And uh, I'll get started with these tests. Okay, so it's a bit windy today. Hope you can hear me over the noise. I got my lab mic on for those reasons. Um, so people interested in these lenses for manual focus, just remember that it's focused by wire. So if you use the Sigma Art Series lenses or Canon L lenses, even though the focus throw on those lenses are kind of short compared to cinema lenses, which are 180 degrees, these lenses are focused by wire, so it's by electronics. So basically, if you take the lens off the camera, say you're doing lens whacking, for instance, if you take the lens off the camera and you try to focus doing it that way, it won't work because it needs those electronics to control the connection. So it's by electronics, but that's what I'm testing today. I'm gonna rack focus on some things and see if I can get some smooth focus on it because when you do focus, it is very smooth. So um, let's test it out. Okay, so I'm back in the house now, going over the footage, and um, I gotta say these lenses are really, really nice. The focus throw is nice. I found on the 42.5, the focus throw is quite long between the subjects. Um, I did a test on there between uh, Bubbles the dog and the stick, and it took me about two to three goes because the focus throw is quite long. Um, the lenses I'm used to using is the Sigma Art Series lenses, so the focus throw on that is quite short. Um, but because I'm so used to it, that's how I, I usually work. Um, so yes, it's a long focus throw, so that's going to take getting used to do, but it's really, really nice. The other thing that was amazing that you saw me do was handheld with the OIS on this lens and just the camera, and that was like, what, almost like a 90 millimeter on the GH5 walking handheld, and that was just insane. I thought that was so buttery smooth. So hopefully I can do some more tests before I got some shoots coming up. So once again, I'm shooting on the 12 millimeter 1.4 on the camera and the 42.5, and I've also got my, my 20 mil, but I didn't use that today. Um, so yeah, amazing lenses. The other lens that I loved using that was Leica as well, Panasonic and Leica, was the 15 millimeter 1.7. So that thing was really tiny, which is really good for gimbals and stuff like that. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna start finishing this edit and get up for you guys, um, which I guess you're watching now. And uh, thanks for watching, and I'll check you next time.